All right, guys, I am going to show you. Well, I'm not going to show it. Well, yeah, basically, I'm going to be making a script from scratch, kind of. Uh, well, usually what I do is I copy the default configuration file, but I don't really need to. I just copy whatever random one I choose fit and then switch it up as I go. So what you want to do, you want to find your file of choice to copy, probably default config or whichever you have already. Uh, name it however you like it. I am going to be calling mine test dead space since that will be the game I will be making the file for. Uh, I will try my best to hopefully not forget anything because uh, I tend to forget a lot of things. I'm just talking to waste time. Let it load. Okay, so uh, the first thing you want to do, once you got your file ready to be adjusted, you're going to have to find the button layout for the game you are wanting to play. So I already have mine over here. See that space controls? But I'm just going to show you basically how I find it. I already made a video about it, but hey, it's only 10 seconds. So you just type it out on Google. It's like not that hard. I already wrote it, so it'll save me 30 seconds of typing. There it is. That's what I usually type out, and I just click on uh, web pages till I find the correct one I would like to use. Alright, so here's your layout. You're going to need it for all the buttons that you're going to be uh, applying onto your uh, controller. Alright, so, so first step is writing all the instructions on the side so you know what you're doing. I mean, I would think it's the best. I know I'm starting on the left uh, mode. Uh, I actually did it backwards. I was supposed to do it on the second mode. I think it just saves time. Not really anything different, but uh, it's so ignore what I'm saying now. Blah, blah, blah. So right now I'm just going to write, uh, I guess, run. Since that's exactly what the first one was. That uh, one is run. I think I'm going to call it sprint. It just sounds a lot better. Like I said, these are just my notes. I'm just going to go one by one. This is not a quick video, this is a slow video, so you actually see step by step what I'm doing. I slur a lot, or I make an S whistle. Alright, I'll mess with that later. Go back and write in some more. Alright, let's see what else we got. Already put an aim since all the shooting shooting games at PS's all have the same trigger left trigger for aiming next will be weapon swing just highlight it and copy I'm gonna show you one more just because I am going to fast forward through all this cuz I don't think you really want to see me just paste I mean anybody can do it so I'm gonna show you one more Let me zoom in a little bit so we can all read it Especially me, I'm really blind. All right, melee weapons swing. It's right there. All right, one more, and then I'm gonna fast forward because this is getting boring to me and boring for my viewers. Because I mean, I'm not making this entertaining enough. All right, I officially finished with all the pacing. I'm saving you guys time. Got all this stuff. The next thing to do would be to uh, copy all this onto mode 2 because that's how I play. Mode 1 is default, mode 2 is gameplay. So when I were to push start, I can control the start navigation on mode 1. I That's how I work. Alright, I'm just going to... Duplicate. 
Saves me time instead of recopying the whole thing. Delete this one because this is from Killing Floor 2. And I don't need that. Yes, I'm sure. I guess I'll rename this to Gameplay. Alright, we're on mode 2, on um, gameplay mode, and we are going to not copy, I just noticed that there's no right joy. So since I only play with one quad stick, I mean only one and nothing else, I want to be able to control my camera view for my comfort. So I will be switching all the left joystick functions, I mean outputs to uh, the right analog outputs. So just switching it up real quick. Since I did copy this from the left left analog sheet. Alright, come on, what is it? Down, down, up, down. I need to walk forward, so that's why I switched that line 16 to left joy up. Since all my gameplay, I do that. I'm probably gonna put a delay latch. Yeah, I'm gonna I can't read it. Let me let me move this over real quick. Legible. Oh no, a little bit more. Uh, I think that's fine. Yes, it's fine. I don't know what to put yet, but I'll keep it as at an average parameter. Probably between 700 and 800. Yeah, what should I put? I mean, because I don't want to walk into enemies more quickly. I'd like to have like a good... A good standing on it, so... Maybe when I'm not getting chased. Uh, yeah, 800 sounds good. Uh, my aiming is always on lip, and I always have that toggled. I don't even think I ever do a delay latch on that. Uh, let's see what else we got. I did forget that there are other additional controls. And I have played this game before. I have played this game when I was abled. You know, fingers and everything. But, uh... I mean, that one makes this thing a little complicated. Once you add the additional controllers, it gets really frustrating. So let's see if we can work around that. Right now, I'm just clearing clearing space, so I don't see uh, highlighted areas, so I don't forget where what I changed, what I haven't, what I changed, and what I need to change. So if I'm not worried about it right now, I'll just leave it blank. I'll rewrite it in later. Let's work with melee curb stomp. Uh, usually, I like to use all my important important configurations on the right side. I mean, they're all important, but I'm trying to apply the ones I use the most on the right side of my quad stick and the left one, you know, more minimal as I go. I usually use a second alternate attack, probably right center sip as a melee. So right center sip sounds good for this one. Um, but then I got deck nav. Uh, deck navigation is just a map. I'll probably do something else with that. Oh, what else we got for alternate? So basically all the left triggers. That's really not anything new. This is going to be a difficult game a little bit. I'm going to have to memorize all this. For health, I want it someplace, uh, probably right puff, just because I don't want to click it by accident. I remember clicking, mashing the health button by accident, and next thing you know, I ran out of health because I just kept healing me even though I had full health, so I think that's a good place. Near me, but away from me, as long as I remember. 
All right, next thing will probably be. Oh yeah, I need to add rest out of the rest of it. All right, and paste. Shake off. No stasis. I'm gonna put a little keynote for, well, not for me, probably for the people who copy this. Just because I can memorize this, because I'm the one who made it. I'm gonna put key with aim. <clears throat> Hopefully, people will know that that means while you're aiming, that's what it turns into. Left trigger and the X button. Yeah, I think that's good. Yes, definitely good. All right, next one. Let's go with that one. What was it again? Okay. Let's work on the curb stomp. Which is... RB here it is all fire. Oh, okay, so it's the second second thing to it. All right That's a perfect placement then so uh, send thy center sip it fires the weapon and Right center sip is the alternate fire. Yeah, it's a perfect location Just writing that in. Just copy that. Last work for me. And go to weapon swing. Beautiful. What's next? I guess reload. And I can't get confused because uh, PlayStation and the Xbox have both X buttons, but in different locations. I'm looking for the A button, which is the X button on the PlayStation, I guess. That, that, that I'm redundant. Blah. Alright, it's also shake off and it's also reload. I probably want to change the position of that. But first, let me type uh, with aim. Yep, just riding in with aim. This is a lot harder on the desktop. I mean, on my iPad, I'm a lot quicker. I mean, no more than like 30 minutes. Probably. On my first go. All right, I got that nonsense. What's next? I guess I go down the list. Um, well, I don't need to put Kinesis module. Okay, if I don't figure that out on my own, I'm not playing the game right. I just need to put grab object, at least. Alright, B button, you're also going to be useful. Okay, next. I'm going to jump. Wow. Uh, do I need to write the whole thing? Yeah, why not? I don't think I could jump in general and they're going to be mad if I can't. 
so it's only in zero gravity which is 10% of the game and there you go all said and done with can't forget that can I Let's let's start reconfiguring some things. Sprint, uh, it's important, but I'll figure that out later. All right, this one's good. Like I mentioned, it's perfect position next to my firing. Uh, that one's good because it's away from me, but still at reach. Easy access. Uh, where did I leave off this one? Okay. Uh, Reload weapon. What do I normally reload on? I guess I reload right center puff. Normally in all my games, but it shakes off also. So is that a good place? Uh, yeah, I think so. Let me let me just put it in there. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Right center puff. I mean, it's right above my weapon. So yeah, I guess it's a good place. It's right. Yes, I am confident with my answer. Final answer. All right, next let's say uh, grab and back. I mean, all my weapon stuff is on the right side, so it only makes sense to put that underneath health. So that means I'm clear of the right side. I'm de yeah, I'm definitely clear on the right side. But right now, let's block this so it doesn't get in my way. I'll come back to that later. I want to get the important stuff out of the way. All right, rig inventory and jump. Well, jumping, I don't really do a lot. And rig inventory is my inventory. It's important, but I won't be needing it quick as fast as the other buttons. So let's think about this one. I most likely will put this on left sip, but just I'm just rechecking everything. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Oh, excuse my language, but I mean, that's what we all talk. There it is. Finished. Fixed. All right. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What am I going to do with regulatory? Uh, what was I talking about? I was going to put it on left set. Why am I not moving the mouse? Okay, all right, so I was deciding to put it on left sip, but then I realized, <clears throat> oh, I'm cracking up. Let me put it left puff. Uh, I think I might have a answer for that later, I presume, because I want sprint to be included. So I kind of want to put sprint on the bottom lower end, so I can always remember it. If I had it at the top, I mean, I sip faster than I puff. I want this right here, deck navigation and or sprint. Which one should I work on? Yeah, I'll do neck, uh, deck navigation. There we go, left sip. What's next on the list? Oh, well, obviously sprint, but no, anything besides that. I mean, I'm having trouble with sprint right now because I know in the game, sometimes I want to take it slow, but I want to have the ability to toggle it. 
uh, any any moment I can. Then I also got the D-pad, which is the weapon, weapon switch. Oh, so many choices, so many choices. I'm gonna write that in first, just to keep it in the back of my mind. Well, I think as of an answer. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put D-pad North on triple puff. I'm going to be putting D-pad S, which is down, on triple sip. Weapons 2 and so forth. Still got the whole left side of my quad stick. So left center puff, but I mean that's a good thing. And weapon 4 would be left center sip. Oh look at that. Everything works out just fine. Yes. Weapons 2 and 3 I'm probably going to use the most. R2 and 4. Weapons 1 and 3 I'll probably use the least. I don't think I'll use them at all, but we'll see. Um, the reason I have left puffs off, right puffs off, center puffs off, I'll explain that in another video. I need this in order for certain functions to work on the quad stick. Like I said, uh, it'll probably be called D-pad something, I don't know. I mean, I'll come, I'll come up with a title, but when you watch the video, you'll understand why I'm doing this. I'm not really going to explain it right now, I just know I need it. And then I copy this, I bold it. Alright, alright, I think I'm done here. Go back to sprint, I had enough time to think. Cause that's all I need left and I just don't know what to do with it. I mean, I don't want to be running and sprinting every single time I get. Uh, I could soft puff it. I mean, yeah, I, I could do that. Which means I'm just going to have to toggle it and make sure not to press it or press it fast enough in time. Uh, well, all right, well, I'll scroll up. I'm gonna have to switch to the one on top. You know what, no. I came up with a better idea. I am gonna switch it. I'll put it as a left puff, I mean left sip, and deck navigation, something I'll probably use a lot least, a lot least, I mean less, I'll put that as a center puff. That sounds a lot better for my smooth gameplay, so, yes, I totally agree with this. It works, it works, I just gotta delete this one up here, cause I'm just gonna be repetitive, and I don't want any mistakes. Or less mistakes, so let's just delete this one. Copy a blank pace. I know I could just delete it, but I got too lazy. I mean, this is faster. Uh, delete row. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. I think everything looks correct. Does it? Does it though? Sprint and melee, yep, yep, yep. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's what I did. Okay, okay. So I actually messed up the increment mode. Let me add that in there. So I'll go back and put this as a right center. I mean, I'll put this as a triple puff. Where is it? There it is. Left center puffs off. I forgot about that. That's what I needed. Left center puff soft. So like I said, I'll explain in another video why I need it, even though I'm not going to be using it. Alright, I'm just going to copy all this. To, uh, this mode. So when I go into start menu, I, I don't need to navigate. I can navigate perfectly. 
with the same button, so I don't have to memorize anything different. I'm just pacing normal. Alright, good, good, good. I don't need force offs because I'm not going to be toggling anything. Alright, time to work with four softs. I'm just gonna start adding in all the things I used that are toggled and or delay latched. So I'll start with this one, four soft. I'm just gonna copy this. And probably I'm probably gonna be using it multiple times, so let's put it ten more times or nine more times. That nine. Pay special, pays values only. Alright, good, it saves me trouble. And I'm probably gonna put the default ones I always do, which is uh, SIP softs, which most likely are select and start menu. And while I'm at it, every time I switch modes, it will turn off the same outputs anyway. So let me go back up and copy the RIT SIP and RIF puff. Wait a minute, triple puff. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I switched the backs in it. Here, okay. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Right puff. So that means I messed up my D pad. Uh, insert. Oh, just more work. See? You can easily make mistakes. Like I have like the 20th time already, probably. Alright. Delete that. Good. Copy. Paste and switch the new one to triple puff because that's what I wanted on in the first place. If I could just concentrate, I wouldn't make mistakes. All right, rise up puff, right up zip, blah blah blah. Copy these two, scroll back down. And add it in. There you go. So those are my first five defaults that I always put in. So every time I push those buttons, it mostly turns off every single command in my configuration. But I'm debating whether I need center sip soft. Because, I mean, for console users, it, uh, it goes to the home page, but since I don't have a console, oh, I do, but I use a PC, I don't really need that. So it makes extra room. And like I mentioned, I can only use 10 commands, 10 force off commands per command per mode. So for this one, I can only use 10 left joy up force offs. All right, uh, what else do I need? Let's see. I want it to turn off when I click left zip. Nope. When I aim. Do I need it when I aim? Do I want it to turn off when I aim? No. Should I? No, no. Anything else I need? Uh. Uh, let's just put it in. Man, I'm not committed to my answers today. Alright, uh, I'm gonna put right center sip because every time I swing or fire, I do want it to turn it off. So every time I use a weapon, I do want it to turn it off. That always works for me. And make sure I don't walk into the enemy or line of fire. Stops me in my tracks, so that only means I wanted to center sip as well. But I don't want it to turn off that quick. I think I want to add a little bit of delay. Not too much. 
I'm like enough to where if I were to fire twice, then it would stop me. 400 sounds uh, reasonable. All right, let's see. Uh, yep, of course, every time I use navigation. I mean, you don't move anyway, so why not stick it in there? I'd be stupid not to. On second hand, I think I might want to just turn it off. Now I'm thinking about it. I mean, everything comes at you anyway, right? So let's not... Yeah, let's put lip in there. I mean... Might as well. I got all the room for it. The back button or the right zip. Do I need to? Yes, of course. I need to add that in as well. Every time I jump and or rig inventory, yes, of course, on that one. Hold up, I need one more line. Right sip. There we go. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I guess that's a max I can put. So I guess I'm done. I'm running out of room, so let me recopy these blank spaces. Paste it and bam. Saves me trouble of inserting over and over again. One more time. Uh, maybe one more. Think that's good enough. I think that's good enough. Nah. I'm satisfied. Right, I'm gonna recopy all these and now to go to next one left one which is sprint what do I want sprint to turn off with all right so I have the first four defaults so that takes up four spaces out of ten which leads me to six and then obviously what do these do all right, curb stomp, swing. All right, what do I want it to turn it off? Uh, well, not that one, so. The back button? You know what? No, I don't even think I want anything to turn it off. So yeah, yes, yes. The only thing I want it to turn it off is when I switch modes, push start, and uh, when I click the same button twice. Other than that, I don't want anything to turn off sprint. Which leaves left two, which is aim. What do I want aim to turn off when I click a certain button? So let's just do the same thing twice. Copy the whole spectrum. Again, four defaults, but then I got you six. I mean, when I punch, I kind of use all these buttons for aiming. So is my job already done? I mean, technically. 
I don't want anything to turn off. Y'all use with aim, so... I think I did solve my problem. Besides deck navigation. Nice. Alright, delete that. I don't need those two. I definitely don't need lip, because then the whole the whole concept's not gonna work since lip turns off lip. Which is aim, so delete that also. Paste it. Uh left puff, right zip. Yeah, let's take those off too. And only leave the left center puff soft. I don't need to turn off when I switch weapons either, so I'm good with that. Wait a minute, you gotta be kidding me. I thought I wrote it in already. And there you go, paste. And I'm gonna do one. Oh my god, I keep missing. Paste. Raise one. Dude, I always have problems with this thing. Delete. Problem solved. Alright, no more problems for the last time. I scroll back down. Or. Yes. So basically, delete everything. I'm done. I am done. I think I'm done configuring it the best it can be for my first try. We're just gonna have to test it, improve it after that. Uh, but I mean, it should be playable. From the looks of it, it is playable to my standards. Uh, D-pad, I probably don't even use it. I know only you put it in there for people who have trouble switching weapons, which is it's not hard for me at all. And then mouse is, I guess, controlling my computer and Steam, Origin, etc. Depending on the platform I'm using. If there's anything I need to change, is probably the preferences. I need my SIP soft delay to be at 600 so I don't click it too fast, or 700. I think 300 is way too quick. I should have changed it for all my files, but I didn't. All right, and just one more glance to make sure everything is good and I did not forget a single thing. Important. All right, everything seems orderly. Change the title to, I guess, Dead Space, since that's what I'm playing. I'm going to be testing. I'm going to leave it at Dead S. I should know what it is. Dot CSV. I mean, you can always change the layout to your choosing, like Xbox. And the whole thing will change it. I mean, it, I think it just changes the name of it to let the user not get confused. But since I'm used to it, I guess I'll change it back to PlayStation layout. There's, there's really no difference. It's just I think it's just title name. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh my god, I almost forgot. I forgot to do is go to tools and check, make sure everything's up to date. As well as run it once it's all checked then you can click the authorized app on the quad stick tab once it does that then you can save it and then test out your game Blah. all right let's get to the gameplay i've been waiting for this already